Hey guys, uh, this is going to be just a quick unboxing and short overview of what ICO is. It's a game for the PlayStation 2. It's one of the biggest sleepers. Well, it was. A lot of people know about it now. There's still a lot of people who don't really know about it. Now, this is uh, the UK cover. The American version and Canadian one has uh, a picture of Aiko the boy on the main cover. Uh, I prefer the UK one, not because I'm from the UK, but because it does kind of capture the feeling of isolation a lot more with uh, just Aiko and I think her name's pronounced Yoda. Uh, just there, just outside the castle. Uh, here's the back of it. The artwork's really nice. You can see there's the boy. Aiko and uh, the, look, the girl beside him is called, I think I'm pronouncing it wrong, but who cares, uh, Yoda. Uh, yeah, the game is basically about a boy who is born with horns on his head and the villagers send him away to a castle because they believe he's got evil inside of him or something because he's born with these horns. So they send him away to this castle surrounded by water and they lock him away inside a tomb crypt and he's meant to be put there as other boys have in the past who have been born of horns and uh, an earthquake comes throughout this castle and he of course escapes and then that's when the story begins. You, And early on in the game you'll come across uh, the girl who is uh, Yoda, you'll find her in a in a cage, I'm not going to say too much because I don't want to give any spoilers away but you'll find her and you get her out of the cage and then from there on from then on the whole game revolves around you protecting her and trying to get her through this whole castle to escape and the castle's got loads of different puzzles and obstacles to get through really it's a really great game uh, th throughout the time you're doing this as well though there's also um, the the demons or the souls from the past little boys with, with horns who have been sacrificed to this castle they come out of everywhere you can think of the walls the floor everywhere and they try to take the girl they can't harm you but they try to take the girl down into these little portals and suck her through the walls and everything and it's your job to protect her and while you're protecting her you're trying to solve puzzles at the same time so it becomes quite a hard task and all you get is a little wooden stick to try and beat them away with so sometimes it can become really challenging and uh, I don't want to say too much more about it other than that because it's really it's an amazing game and I don't want to say too much in case I spoil it for anyone and ruin any surprises but yep this is uh, the unboxing of it that's what the disc looks like, it's got your door on it there's a uh, book, same as the front cover I'll just show you the book as well because the inside of the book's really nice. It's got it's got a lot of really nice artwork showing it. all these places are inside the castle. I actually remember that bit as well. I think it's some uh, well. There's a there's a bit like that with a waterfall. I'm pretty sure it's the exact same actually. Yeah, I remember that bit. I was stuck at it for ages. But yeah, you can see there's a lot of really nice artwork in the book and good descriptions of. Try to find some more. Sorry. Oh well, that's enough. But uh, yeah, anyway, if anyone's. Oh, and there's uh, one of my favourite games ever. This is. I, didn't, I don't really. I rarely give a game 10 out of 10, but that is Shadow of Colossus, which, if you want me to, I can do a, like, a quick review of and an unboxing of because I have that as well. Uh, but yeah, anyway, back to Ico. This game is. It's a 9. A 9. 9 out of 10 and maybe even a 9.5 out of 10. If you're into uh, puzzle type games, it's definitely a game you've got to check out. It really is. Uh, it's like a cult classic. Not many people know about it, but the people who do know about it will tell you. I'm pretty sure that it's a great game. I don't think you'll find one person will have a problem with this game. It's a really great game. You should check it out if you haven't. And yeah, subscribe, comment, rate. And in the comments, uh, please tell me what kind of videos you'd like me to make and uh, if there's anything you want me to stop doing or to do 
or keep doing in my videos and I'll try and do that for you guys right and uh, coming up I'll probably do the Shadow of the Colossus next and uh, maybe an unboxing of a PlayStation 1 game I just got and maybe an unboxing of Forza 3 for the Xbox 360 so watch out for them bye guys